Hey everyone, it's Melissa from Being the Bear, Backyard Homestead here in the Central Valley of California, Zone 90. It's been a minute. <laughs> I'm sorry that I missed you guys in December. Just a lot of stuff was going on. Sorry, my chickens are pecking me right now because they want to eat and I'm not feeding them. <laughs> Anyways, um, and excuse the noise. Uh, the gardeners for my neighbors are here. But anyways, so we're back. It's January, mid-January. Today's the 18th. I think. I don't know. 19? No. I don't know. Whatever day it is. It's Thursday. It's been raining a lot here in California. If you haven't been following the news, it's been crazy. And so the gardens are doing good. I'm going to give you guys a quick show of the gardens. And I'm also going to be planting, well, just throwing out some poppy seeds, um, some California poppies. And then this one, the Mission Bell, also California poppies. I guess it's like bunch of different kinds so yep so the orange and then all these different ones so I'm gonna be throwing these out in the fairy gnome garden uh, if you saw my video back in I think it was November I also threw out some lupines and some other um, you know various flowers and stuff a lot of herbal flowers um, it's a little sprinkly out here anyways <laughs> lots of rain here in California we are actually um, almost to our average for the year and our rainiest month is usually March and so we still got two more months hopefully we keep getting more rain just space it out a little bit just space it out <laughs> that was a lot all at once we had a lot of flooding up in the North Valley and um, not so much where we live um, but we did have rock slides up in the mountains a lot of our mountain roads um, and you know John hasn't been working as much because uh, of all the rain and the rock slides and he does a lot of work up in the mountains and so um yeah it's just been rough but anyways we're looking forward to the spring we're back and so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys what's going on all right so i flipped you around so i know there's a lot of weeds in here um but a lot of it is nettle and i'm going to actually um, start harvesting a lot of that and dehydrate it to keep it because um Nettle is really good herbal medicine for you, and so um, it's something that I want to try and keep around. But then there's just weeds too. So I planted back in, oh goodness, November, October, end of October, some garlic, and you, as you can see, they're coming up. I planted some elephant garlic too in the back, which is coming up, so that's pretty exciting. I think I counted, there's like 24 heads of garlic. Um, that I planted and so and that are coming up you can see the chard is doing pretty good um, these are turnips and rutabagas right here and I'm gonna have to be really careful when I pull them out because as you can see there is some nettle in there <laughs> um, and you know I, I had saved a couple of the Brussels sprouts but then something came and ate them and so I don't know anyways but yeah so we have um, a, uh, not asparagus we have um, artichokes coming up so that's good there's some oh that's getting really loud I hope you guys can hear me there's um, some uh, calendula coming up in there as well and then there's lots of alyssum the alyssum is very happy with all this rain <laughs> The calendula has been really happy with all the rain and um, you can see in here that cilantro has been really happy in the rain too so that's exciting anyways I'm gonna go ahead and stop you guys I'm gonna plant these poppies I'm just gonna throw them out there in the back around and I'll come back to you in the other garden well I thought they'd be done gardening right now they're not <laughs> so anyways excuse the noise in the background still um, so now I'm over here in the main garden and I'm just going to show you guys what's going on. There's a lot of weeds. I haven't been able to get out here very much because it's been raining so much that um, it's even raining right now. It's sprinkling. <laughs> just never ending. I, I guess we're supposed to have a pretty good stretch here though for the next couple weeks without rain. So hopefully that'll happen and I can get out here and do some weeding and stuff. But I just wanted to give you guys an update what's going on. Okay, so like I said, lots of weeds. So my red cabbages are doing all right. This is my first year growing them. So um, 
I don't, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I think they're doing pretty good. You can see the kales in there. There's spinach, more kale, more spinach. Here's the green cabbages. Still small. Um, hopefully they'll keep growing here for the next couple of months and we'll get at least three uh, green cabbages and possibly three purple. Over here, the Asian cabbages are doing really well. Um, they're getting close to getting harvested. As you can see, we got some bro or some cauliflower. There's one. Here's two. There's three. And then not quite, not quite yet. Oh, nope, there's like a tiny one in here. <laughs> so that's exciting. More Asian cabbages. Oh, this one looks like it's getting eaten. Then we have broccoli. Here's some broccoli. And here's some more broccoli. Looking good. This is my first time growing broccoli and um, cauliflower, so that's pretty exciting. They're looking good. Over here, I have my cheddar cauliflower. And as you can see, it's getting a bulb on it too. Let's see, last time I checked, this one didn't have anything going on yet. And it still doesn't. This is my purple one, but it's getting big. And you can eat these leaves too, uh, from the cauliflower and the broccoli. So those are some good greens that will come in handy. Over here, you can see all the weeds. It's just been crazy. Oh, another gardener is here. <laughs> Chard is doing good. More um, broccoli and cauliflower. And then over here is all my radishes and my beets, and they're getting bigger. They're doing good. So we'll be harvesting some of those here soon. So um, thanks for hanging out today, and I'm sorry if you didn't hear me very well because of all the gardening, all um, the gardeners going on. Um, obviously, we don't have gardeners. <laughs> um, but, you know, we live in a neighborhood, and so that's just what happens sometimes. So, um, anyways, thanks for hanging out today. And if you like this video, like and subscribe. And uh, I can't wait to see what's happening next month in the garden. Hopefully, maybe some blossoms will start. That would be great. Because here in our zone, um, things start to blossom at the beginning to mid-February. So, as long as the weather is good... I don't know, we're supposed to have some freezing temperatures tonight. <sighs> so, I don't know, I'm ready for warmer days. Not super warm, like not hot, like it is here. You know, I'm ready for like 60s <laughs> or maybe low 70s, um, but still cool nights. So, anyways, that's what I'm looking forward to. Um, I'm not looking forward to summer because you know how hot it is here. So, but I am looking forward to spring. So anyways, have a great Thursday and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.